Paradise Lost, Trump's Coachella Rally in the Fight for California's Future. In a striking rally held in the vibrant Coachella Valley, Donald Trump fervently addressed an audience of supporters, utilizing the occasion to launch a blistering critique of California's political leadership, particularly targeting Governor Gavin Newsom and Vice President Kamala Harris. This event stands as a microcosm of Trump's larger political strategy and his ongoing campaign to position himself and the Republican Party as the answer to the perceived decline of the Golden State. The rally is emblematic of a broader narrative that Trump has consistently employed. California, once the epitome of American prosperity and opportunity, is now portrayed as a cautionary tale of liberal governance. Trump's framing of California as a paradise lost resonates deeply with many who feel disenfranchised and frustrated with the current political landscape. In this summary, we will explore the multifaceted aspects of Trump's rhetoric at the Coachella rally, examining the implications of his messages for his supporters and the larger political environment. Trump's portrayal of California is steeped in nostalgia. He reminisces about a time when the state was perceived as a beacon of success, boasting a thriving economy, stunning landscapes, and a robust middle class. By invoking this idyllic image, he taps into the collective memory of his audience, stirring feelings of longing for a return to better days. This nostalgia serves as a powerful emotional lever, compelling his supporters to view the current situation as a direct result of poor leadership and misguided policies. Central to Trump's message is the invocation of the America First Doctrine. This slogan, which became a hallmark of his presidential campaign, emphasizes prioritizing the interests of American citizens over globalist agendas or elite concerns. Trump paints the Republican Party as the true champion of common sense, suggesting that their policies are grounded in the practical needs of everyday Americans. By asserting that his party embodies common sense conservatism, he seeks to appeal not only to traditional Republican voters, but also to disaffected Democrats and independents who may feel alienated by the current political elite. A key strategy in Trump's rhetoric is his aggressive targeting of Democratic figures, particularly Kamala Harris. He presents Harris as a representative of everything that is wrong with California, claiming her policies have exacerbated the state's challenges. This personal attack not only galvanizes his base, but also serves to discredit the broader Democratic agenda. By focusing on Harris and Newsom, Trump attempts to shift the narrative from a discussion of policy to a character debate, which can be more compelling for his audience. Throughout the rally, Trump emphasized the importance of voter mobilization, framing the upcoming election as a critical moment for California residents to reclaim their state. His call to action transcends party lines, inviting individuals from all political backgrounds to join him in a movement against what he perceives as the failures of democratic governance. This inclusive approach is strategic. By positioning the election as a chance for collective redemption, he encourages broader participation, which could lead to greater electoral success. In articulating his vision, Trump employs hyperbolic language to highlight the perceived threats facing California. He cites alarming statistics about crime, inflation, and homelessness, painting a dire picture of the state under Democratic leadership. This fear-mongering technique is designed to evoke a sense of urgency among his audience, compelling them to act decisively in the upcoming elections. By framing the situation as a crisis, he seeks to motivate voters to support his candidacy as a means of restoring order and prosperity. Moreover, Trump emphasizes unity among his supporters, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared purpose. He engages the crowd with rhetorical questions and lighthearted commentary, creating an atmosphere of connection and enthusiasm. This sense of belonging is crucial for energizing his base, reinforcing the idea that they are part of a larger movement with a significant mission. By building this communal spirit, Trump strengthens his supporters' resolve to mobilize and vote, potentially increasing turnout in key demographics. The Coachella rally also highlights the ongoing theme of polarization in American politics. Trump's narrative is not merely an indictment of California's leadership. It is a broader commentary on the ideological divide that characterizes contemporary political discourse. By framing the election as a battle between the forces of liberalism and the champions of conservatism, he seeks to energize his base and solidify their commitment to the Republican cause. This polarization serves to delineate clear lines between opposing ideologies, fostering an us-versus-them mentality that can be both motivating and divisive. In summary, Trump's rally in Coachella encapsulates a strategic blend of nostalgia, critique of democratic leadership, and mobilization of voter sentiment. His depiction of California as a state in decline serves to underscore the urgency of his message, while his calls for unity and action resonate with a diverse audience. As he rallies his supporters, Trump reinforces his narrative of an America under threat, encouraging collective action to restore the country to its former glory. The implications of Trump's rhetoric extend beyond California as his messages resonate with disillusioned voters nationwide. By framing the upcoming election as a pivotal moment for reclaiming American values, he positions himself as a transformative figure capable of reversing the course of decline. The themes highlighted in this rally will likely shape the discourse of the 2024 election cycle, influencing voter sentiment and potentially determining electoral outcomes. Trump's Coachella rally is not merely a campaign event. It is a manifestation of his political philosophy and a strategic effort to galvanize support. As the political landscape continues to evolve, 
the narratives constructed during such rallies will play a crucial role in shaping the future of American politics. Through the lens of nostalgia, urgency, and a call for unity, Trump's message resonates deeply with many, reflecting the complexities and challenges of contemporary governance in a divided nation.